Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the surface area of a triangular pyramid. And remember, surface area is the total area of the outside or surface of a three-dimensional shape. When it comes to pyramids, we have the base and then the lateral faces. The lateral faces are the triangular faces that go around the pyramid, so to speak. A triangular pyramid has four total faces, a triangular base, and then three triangular lateral faces. We need to find the area of all of these and add them together to get the total surface area. Now there are a couple of different ways to work through these, so I'll show you different options as far as finding the surface area of a triangular pyramid. Let's jump into our example and start by writing out surface area equals the area of the base plus the lateral area. Then we need to plug in our information. Let's use the net on the right side of the screen to help us do this. You can think of a net as an unfolded 3D shape. It shows us all of the parts, so to speak. Let's start with the area of the base. So this triangle right here, that's our base. So in order to find the area of a triangle, we use the formula, and I'll come up top here, area equals 1 half times the base times the height of that triangle. Now you may use the formula base times height divided by 2. It's the same thing as that formula there, because multiplying by a half is the same as dividing by 2. So use whatever uh, formula you'd like as far as the formula for the area of a triangle. Now we plug in. So area equals one half. The base is right here, so five centimeters, times the height, which is right here, so four and 33 hundredths. Now we're ready to calculate that area. So that's going to give us an area of 10 and 83 hundredths centimeters squared. And I rounded that decimal to the nearest hundredth. So the area of the base is right here. So once we have the area of the base, we need to find the lateral area. So the area of the triangular faces, the lateral faces. And we'll come right below the net in order to solve. Since this is a regular pyramid, meaning the base's sides are all the same, all of the lateral faces will have the same exact area. So we just need to find the area of one and we will have them all. So area equals one half times the base times the height. Again, we're working with triangles, so we will need that formula. Now we'll plug in. So one half times the base, well, the base of all the lateral faces, right here, right here, and right here, they're all five. So let's plug in five times the height of nine. And now we're ready to solve. So one half times five times nine is going to give us an area of 22 and 5 tenths, and this is square centimeters. So there's the area of each of our lateral faces. So to recap, the area of the base, I'll try to squeeze this in, we have 10 and 83 hundredths, and this is square centimeters. Then we have our lateral faces, 22 and 5 tenths square centimeters. So I will fill that in for each. And then there we go. So we have the area of each of our faces. So now it's time to add all of those up to get the total surface area. So I will come over to the left here. Surface area equals, well, the area of the base, 10 and 83 hundredths plus our three lateral faces, so 22 and 5 tenths plus 
22 and 5 tenths. I'll go below here to make sure we have enough room. And now once we add all of that up again, that's going to give us our total surface area. So that is going to be 78 and 33 hundredths square centimeters. So that is our total surface area. So to recap, we found the area of the base plus the area of the lateral faces, added everything together, and that gave us our total surface area. Now I'm going to show you one more way to find the surface area of a triangular pyramid and specifically regular triangular pyramids. So the sides of the base all have to be the same in order to use this next formula. And the formula is surface area equals the area of the base plus one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height. So once we have that, we can plug in. So surface area equals the area of the base was 10 and 83 hundredths. So we will plug that in. And remember, we rounded that to the nearest hundredth plus one half times the perimeter of the base. So our base, we have sides of five, five, and five. So five plus five plus five will give us the perimeter of that base, which is 15 times the slant height right here of nine. And now we're ready to solve. So let's simplify this surface area equals, I'll do one half times 15 times nine, and that's going to give us our lateral area. So one half times 15 times nine gives us an answer of 67 and 5 tenths. So we have 10 and 83 hundredths plus 67 and 5 tenths. Now that 67 and 5 tenths is the same as these three 22 and 5 tenths added up. So that's our lateral area, the total area of our lateral faces. So the area of the base plus that lateral area gives us the total surface area. And it's going to be the same thing we got by adding up all of the faces. 78 and 33 hundredths square centimeters. Now again, we were able to use that formula because this is a regular triangular pyramid, meaning all of the base's sides are the exact same. That formula only works if the pyramid has a regular base. Now the point of the formula is to condense the area of all three lateral faces into one formula. So this right here, the one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height will give you the lateral area. It'll give you the area of all three lateral faces. So again, that formula condenses adding all of the lateral faces into one formula. So there you have it. There's how you find the surface area of a triangular pyramid. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.